Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a battle of the boxes. I'm super excited about this. I decided instead of doing different subscription box videos, I would do one a month, battle out all the boxes and claim a winner. So I did half of my face with products from certain boxes and then the other half from the other boxes. So uh, after I do the review and claim a winner, you'll be able to see how all this stuff performs. And yeah, let's jump right into the reviews. So let's start with Ipsy. I was supposed to receive five items. The Perlis Blue Lotus Brightening Serum, which retails for $65. Jewel Smith Beauty Power Gloss Duo, which retails for $32. Unfortunately, they both were not in my box. I received the box on Friday. I emailed them and they did respond same day. And today they are sending out a replacements. But yeah, it was pretty disheartening that two of the five products weren't even in my box but I was impressed how fast customer service responded to me and how fast they got it shipped out. So I'm excited to see when it goes. But until then, let's just talk about what did show up. Let's start with the Tarte Chrome Paint Shadow Pot and Fire Dancer. It retails for $22. I have it on my inner corner on this eye. Really pigmented, blendable. I like it a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I like it a lot. I don't think I'd ever pay 22 bucks for it because that's one eyeshadow. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But so I was really happy to get in the box because I liked it. Then I have a Trustique All Over Starlight Powder Stick in Ultraviolet. It retails for $18 and I have it on my highlight on this side. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm just gonna like kind of show you. Well, yeah. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then I got a Betty Boop Cheek to Cheek Blush Palette. It retails for $28. I have the blush on both cheeks and then the highlighter on this side. I also received the little Betty Boop bag. Cordy's gonna have fun with that. It's cute. Next, let's go over Lashy Box. I have the full box. It is... I bought the six months in advance, so it's $69 for six months, you know, bringing it down to like eleven sixty-six, dollars something like that. Um, so I got Vampire Teeth. I got four lashes. This one is Baby Boo, Bombshell, and Jojo. I am wearing October on my eyes right now. I received a little tiny lash glue and then a Ruby May Cosmetics Pop Zombie Eyeshadow Palette. It is on this eye. I found it pretty pigmented. I wanted to use as much colors as possible so like the eye looks not what I would normally do. The color story doesn't blend too well together but I just wanted to see how it performs. Really pigmented. I liked it a lot. Pretty impressed with this box, not gonna lie. For 11 bucks, I got an eyeshadow palette, vampire teeth, and four lashes. It's freaking awesome. Next, let's talk about Storybook Cosmetics. I received their Storybook, or let's see, book club. It's supposed to be monthly, but let's talk about this for a minute. So I signed up, I believe it was last April, and I've received two boxes. <laughs> so instead of monthly, it's more like a yearly. <laughs> it's $25. And since it took so long on this one, they gave a free brush. It's really cute. It's very impractical for use. It's not long enough. I'm not going to be able to use it, but it's a cute little collector's piece. Do I wish the handle was a little bigger so I could actually use it? Yeah, definitely. But you know, it's cute. And then this is the book. It came with one liquid lipstick, which is on my lips right now and three eyeshadows. I used this one only and it's on this eyelid. Really cute, I like it. For $25 a month, that's pretty expensive. If they ever get their you know, act together and actually start doing it monthly, I'll probably have to cancel because it wouldn't be worth 25 bucks a month. But you know, one time a year, <laughs> uh, that it's fine, I don't mind. Um, I wish they would do like what FabFitFun does and just do like four boxes a year, I think that would be more practical for them to be able to stick to. I'm hoping that's what they do, but we shall see in the future what they end up doing. 
And then last but not least, we have BoxyCharm. So in BoxyCharm, I received Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette in Sassy Sienna's. It retails for $32. I have it on this eye right here. Really pretty. I love Dose of Colors, but they're really expensive. I usually wait till they have a sale before getting their stuff. So I was really happy to receive this in the box. And as you can tell, it's on this eye. Next, I got Iconic London Prep Set Glow. It retails for $29. I don't like this product at all, but it's because I have really oily skin. So I already struggle with shine, and you'll be able to tell when I do my makeup how my face looked before I put this on, and then now how shiny and like oily it looks. It did not go well with me at all. I think it's gonna be a cute like all over the body spray. But yeah, did not like it whatsoever. Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss. This is in color Sex Kitten. I have this on while I do the makeup. Um, I think it's really cute. It's like a really pigmented gloss, but at the same time, like, yeah, it's a lip plumper. So I liked it a lot. Next, we have Sponge L Mani Pedi Treatment Set. It retails for $18. I haven't used this yet because that would be disgusting to show you a half used Mani Pedi. <laughs> Sponge buffer <laughs> used. So I'm excited to try this. And last but not least, I got the Hollywood and Vine Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Eyeliner in black. Hollywood After Dark, no, let's see. I mean, it obviously is black, but does it have a name? Black. Um, it retails for $7 and I have it on both my eyes. It's an eyeliner, it's pigmented, it's creamy. Can't go wrong, can't have too many eyeliners. So, not hating on that. All right, that is everything in the boxes. So let's claim a winner, shall we? The winner this month is going to be Lashy Box. For $11, I got all of this, like seriously? That's freaking fantastic. I really loved the eyeshadow palette. Like I said, it may not be the most color co cohesive, but there is a lot of looks you can do with it. And especially if you add some other, you know, palettes to the mix. And then vampire teeth and lashes. I mean, yeah. So they win by far. I liked it a lot. Second place is going to go to Boxy Charm. I loved my Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. I loved the lip gloss and the eyeliner. So happy with them. Obviously, I haven't used the Mani Pedi, so I can't say whether I love it or hate it. I'm imagining that I'm not gonna hate it. I don't know how you could go wrong. We shall see. And unfortunately, I hated this. I hated, hated, hated this. Does not go well, well with me. It is really pretty. I'll either give it away to someone who wants it or I'll just save it for like all over body spritzer. Third place will go to Storybook Cosmetics. I think it's super cute. I did not mind waiting a year for it, not a big deal. Um, but I, I think it's really cute. And I could be wrong of when I'm remembering this came out, like officially started. I'm pretty sure it was last year though, like pretty sure. Cause I didn't live in this house, I live now. So yeah, but <laughs> I think it's really cute. I hope they just shoot for four times a year. And I hope they kind of get their sh together, you know, like. Yep. And last place goes to Ipsy because two of the items weren't in the bag. I appreciate you guys getting back to me as soon as possible and shipping it out pretty fast, but it's not here. So unfortunately you get put in the bottom barrel this month. I really loved the Tarte and Tristique. I thought these were great. As you can tell, like it just performed really well in the inner corner. Um, the Betty Boop, it, <laughs> the highlighter, where is it? I do not know. <laughs> it is not on my face. I, it probably looks really shiny from the spray, but as you'll be able to tell in the tutorial, it wasn't there very much. And I mean, the blush like wasn't really pigmented. It was all right. I had to dip in quite a bit. Normally I do like one dip into blush, shake it off, and then that's enough to like do my whole face. I went in like three or four times on each cheek, so not super pigmented. 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like the idea of doing Battle of the Boxes every month. Give me your input if you'd rather see certain things individual or if you do like the idea. And yeah, let's get right into the tutorial.
thank you so much for watching. I hope you had fun. I know I did. <laughs> Song of the day is going to be... Hmm, the Sin and the Sentence by Trivium. Have a good day. See you on the next one. Bye.